Hey TikTok, props to history here. Back in 1986, James Cameron's Aliens was released. A continuation of the 1979 Ridley Scott classic, Alien. And it continued the story of one of the most terrifying villains in sci-fi history, the Xenomorph. As well as continuing the tale of one of the greatest heroes ever written in sci-fi history, Ellen Ripley, of course played by Sigourney Weaver. Now, as is tradition for sci-fi, it introduced us to a whole lot of amazing tech and wonderful props, and the, one of the most memorable, of course, is the power loader. Now, once again, in the tradition of sci-fi, it was both amazingly badass and also completely and utterly impractical. But that didn't stop James Cameron from having it built full size. But it was essentially a big giant puppet. While filming the full-size version, it was suspended from a crane and actually had another puppeteer that helped operate the legs. For the distance shots during the fight with the alien queen, large-scale puppets were used and were filmed with a process called go motion. Now for these shots with a close-up full-size alien queen, a full-scale puppet of the alien queen was created. And that full-size alien queen puppet actually had a puppeteer buried inside of her chest so that it could manip manipulate the small arms on her chest and then another puppeteer used to operate the mouth. Now that full-scale alien queen puppet, which was about 22 feet long, still survives and is actually on display at the Musée de Cinématique in France. The full-scale power loader and its large-scale go-motion puppet reside in the collection of James Cameron's production company, Lightstorm Entertainment. Stay safe. Rob Sisbury.